Hi, my name is Miranda Stanglin, and I'm a mathematician, and this is How to Teach Number Strings in Math. What a number string is, is it's essentially a pattern recognition. When we teach our children to count, they learn how to count one, two, three, four, five, and once they hit first and second grade, they begin to count in tens. 10, 20, 30, 40. Essentially what they're doing is they're recognizing that they changed the first digit while keeping the second digit the same. Um, if we want to do an example problem of how to work with strings, we'll look at the number, let's just take 35, 45, 55. It's very easy to predict what our next numbers are going to be by looking at the numbers before it. So we represent um, this by taking the number before, which is n sub p, and we add 10 units to it. So if I look at 35, I add 10, I get 45. If I add 45, add 10, I get 55. So the next numbers are going to be 65 and 75. Series and strings can also be different types of functions, so they can be adding something, it can be multiplying or dividing. If I look at the series, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, I can predict the next few numbers by looking at the numbers before it. So my beginning number is represented by NP, and I look at what does it take to get to the next number. So 3 plus what gives me 6, which is 3, right? 6 plus 3 gives me 9, 9 plus 3 gives me 12, 12 plus 3 gives me 15, so I can easily see that the next numbers are going to be 18 and 21. When we advance in our math career, we will we'll learn more about what's called a Fibonacci sequence, which is a very famous sequence, and it looks like this. And it can be a little bit hard to recognize the pattern at first, but once you break it down into the number previous to the next number, it becomes easier. Let me write a few more numbers out here. And we'll predict the next numbers. So I've got 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8. Now at first it looks complicated, but if I just take the first two numbers and recognize what those numbers give me for the next one, I can easily predict the next numbers. 0 plus 1 gives me 1. 1 plus 1 gives me 2. 2 plus 1 gives me 3. 3 plus 2 gives me 5. And we recognize that pattern by writing it in previous, the first one, in plus, in previous of the second one. And that's going to give us our next numbers. So when we've gotten out here, we have 8 plus 13. So our next number is going to be 8 plus 13, which is going to be 21. If I want the next digit, I add 13 to 21 which is gonna give me 34. This has been how to teach math strings.